What's going on? What's going on? This is Hassan. Fight with another video. Yesterday and uh, the day before, we discussed the importance of detoxing. We talked about detoxing the liver, and we talked about just overall general detoxing. One of the things that we mentioned in our uh, podcast concerning detoxing was that we should avoid fast food and you should avoid foods from convenience stores. You should stay away from processed foods. And so in this video, we want to look at some ways that you can stop your craving for junk food or fast food. One of the main things that you have to realize that eating less does not make you lose weight. You don't want to eat less, you just want to eat better. Switch from processed foods to whole foods. Whole foods are nutrient rich. They take longer to digest and they'll make you feel full longer. So you want to make that transition from processed food to whole food. Make the transition from eating at fast food restaurants to eating at home. Nothing better than a good home cooked meal that's prepared with clean food. Another thing. So, prepare your meals. Prepare your meals in advance and you'll be less likely to eat out and consume more food than you need. So you want to get food, food prep. Food prep is very important. You should prepare your thought of thinking on a Sunday what you're going to eat during the week. You don't necessarily have to prepare the meal then, but you should have a good idea of what you're going to eat each day. That way you can have the you can go buy the food, you can have the food in your refrigerator, in your cupboards, ready to be prepared. If you don't, just go ahead and prepare it all at one time. So don't eat less, eat better. Avoid processed food. Eat whole foods. And you don't have to go to the whole food grocery store to get whole food. There are whole foods in almost any grocery store. You just have to know where to look for the Whole Foods. But I've stated many times, and I'll, re, I, and I'll restate, always shop in the outer aisles when you go grocery shopping. Do, do that first. Shop in the outer aisle before you go into the inner aisle. Secondly, uh, prepare your meals. When you prepare your meals, you're less likely to consume fast food because you you already have a, a meal prepared. Instead of just running to the fast food store, fast food place to get something, you already have something. Most people go to fast food restaurants for convenience. They are out, they're, they're, they're in a hurry, so they're look, looking for something fast. But if you already have your meal prepared, then you don't have to look for a fast food because you already have, you have your own fast food at home that's nourishing, that's full of uh, nutrients, that's made with care, and that'll go way further than eating something at fast food. Whether it be uh, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, whatever. And another, also, one way to help with junk food cravings is to drink more water. I hop on that on all of my uh, podcasts and videos. You have to drink enough water. Water consumption is extremely important for many things. One of one thing is to lose weight. You can't lose weight if you don't drink water. Also, drinking enough water helps the skin. Helps your skin to look younger. 
it helps your organs to function properly. The organs need water. So you have to put water inside your body, clean water, spring water, or processed or um, filtered water. So you want to have good water consumption. You want to stay away from processed food. You want to prepare your meals. Like I said, you can just go ahead and prepare the meal, or you can just already know what you're going to eat, have it planned out. That's part of preparing your meals. So meal prep, very important. Now, another thing, get eight hours of sleep. You have to get sleep. If you can, at least get six to eight hours of sleep daily. You got to have sleep. Sleep is, is essential. Research has shown that none, I'm sorry, research has shown that the more sleep deprived we are, the more hungry we feel. So getting that, getting that sleep also will help you lose weight. Getting seven to nine hours of sleep helps make better food choices. This article uh, that we are looking at comes from gemaholic.com. Check them out if you have a chance. But you have to have your eight. Don't forget the eight. Eight hours of sleep. I just summarized it and ran off to eight hours. Eight hours of sleep. Eight glasses of water daily. If you drink more, that's better. But at least drink eight glasses of water. Sixty-four ounces of water daily. Avoid fast. Avoid any food that has a co co commercial. If it has a commercial, avoid it or eat it sparingly. So this, as we said, is a companion podcast uh, to our series of podcasts dealing with toxins, how to detox the body. And one of the best ways of detoxing the body, first step should be to avoid fast food, avoid processed food, avoid foods from convenience stores, avoid food that is not real. Eat whole food, real food, food that is unprocessed. Then you want to make sure that you're drinking enough water. Because just drinking enough water will help you to detox. Eating fresh, 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 sorry, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit will help you detox. Your body should get used to just eating fruit and not have that craving for sugar. So, don't eat less, eat better. Prepare your meals, drink more water, and get more sleep. So with that, I'll leave you. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, when you see this video on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them, leave them, leave them below. And I'll get back with you on the next video. Peace.